Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to find hcf or gcd using loop now guys the highest common factor or hcf we also call it as the greatest common divisor or gcd of two numbers is the largest positive integer that perfectly divides the two given numbers so guys basically we are going to have the two numbers and we are going to see which is that largest positive number which exactly divides this two given numbers so for example the hcf of 12 and 14 is 2 since this 2 is the highest number that exactly divides 12 and 14 that is both the numbers respectively and guys similarly we have other numbers that is 48 and 54 which will be divided by 6 for which the hcf will be 6 which divides both the numbers respectively so guys let us find the hcf or gcd by using the python program using the vs code over here so guys the very first thing that we have to do is we have to provide the number 1 so let's say we provide these two numbers that is 12 and 14 over here so we provide the value of 12 to number 1 and number 2 it will be 14 in this case guys you can also use the input function in order to take the input from the user as well now guys what we will do is we will have another function in order to compute the hcf so before these variables we will define the function that is compute hcf and then inside this compute hcf we will provide both these variables in the form of x and y which are these two numbers that is number 1 and number 2 now guys what we will be doing is we will find the smallest number in this case so let's say initially the smaller number we define it as the number that is 0 over here and then if this x number if it is less than y then the smaller number will be x in this case so after this colon we provide smaller it is equal to x or else what we will do is we will provide else part over here the smaller number is y in this case so guys basically what we have done is we have to find the smallest number out of these two numbers that is x and y and if x is less than y then the smaller number is x or else the smaller number will be y now guys the next step is to use the for loop over here so we use the for loop and then we provide the variable that is i and then we have the keyword that is in and then we have the range function which will go from 1 up to the smaller number so we have smaller plus 1 guys always remember that whenever we are using the range function the second parameter that we provide will not be included in this range function so we have to do plus 1 over here so that the smaller number is also included inside this range so basically the for loop will go from 1 up to the smaller number between these two numbers that is x and y and then guys the next thing that we have to do is we have to divide both these numbers that is x and y by this number that is i and check whether the remainder is 0 which means both the numbers are exactly divisible by this number that is i and we have to follow these steps up to the number that is smaller so that the largest number is found and we store it inside another variable that is hcf so over here we will have another variable so let's say hcf it is equal to 0 initially so what we will do is inside this for loop we will say if and then we say x percent i is it equal to 0 and then again we have another condition so we provide the and keyword over here and then we have y percent i is it again equal to 0 so in this case if both the numbers that is x and y are exactly divisible by i that means this i is one of the numbers that exactly divides both the numbers so basically we provide hcf it is equal to i in this case so ultimately when the control flow finishes this range that is going from 1 up to the smaller number we will have the highest common factor that is hcf inside this variable so guys what we have to do is after this for loop we simply have to return this hcf so we return hcf over here now guys what we have to do is we have to call this function that is compute hcf that we have defined so what we will do is we will simply have to print statement and then we will say the hcf of two numbers that is first number and the second number is and then we will print this hcf number i'll just remove this f character over here so that we don't get any errors on these curly braces and then after this we provide dot format and then we can simply provide the number 1 as the first parameter that will be printed over here instead of the curly braces and then we have number 2 and then what we can do is we can call this compute hcf in order to find the hcf that will be replacing this third curly braces so we have compute hcf 
and we provide number one and number two as the parameters over here which will go inside the x and y variables of this compute hcf function over here so guys this is the way that we can use the loop that is this for loop in order to find which is that number that is i which exactly divides both the numbers that is x and y and the highest number will be stored in this hcf variable which will be our highest common factor or the greatest common divider which is the gcd now guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see the highest common factor that is hcf of two numbers 12 and 14 is 2 over here and that is what we were expecting that is 12 and 14 it is 2 now guys let us provide some other numbers let's say we provide the first number as 12 itself and the second number as 24 so if you notice this 24 is also divisible by this number that is 12 and this number 1 that is 12 is also divisible by this number 12 itself so the highest common factor should be this number that is 12 the quotient in this case will be 1 12 divided by 12 will be 1 and 24 divided by 12 will be 2 and in both the cases the remainders will be 0 so guys let me just save this file now let us verify whether the hcf for these two numbers is 12 or not so i'll just try running this code once again as you can see the hcf of two numbers 12 and 24 is 12 so we are getting the right answer now guys let us see the first number is 54 and the second number is 48 now let me just save this file now and try running this code again so as you can see the hcf of two numbers 54 and 48 is 6 so guys this means that 6 is the highest number that divides both these numbers exactly that is 54 and 48 for which the remainder we get is 0 there is no other number after 6 that is from 7 up to 48 for which that number divides both these numbers perfectly so guys this is the way that we can easily find the hcf of the two numbers by using the for loop over here guys what if the numbers are 25 and 30 in this case so let's say number 1 is 25 and second number is 30 so what will be the hcf in this case when two numbers are 25 and 30 so comment in the comment section below let us see whether your answer regarding this hcf is correct or not please make sure that you practice on your own so that you can find out the hcf of these two numbers make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to find hcf or gcd using the euclidean algorithm so stay tuned